not about ED or low T. What gets my blood going is fast vintage cars like this one right here. I haul a lot of cars. That's why I chose the JB Enterprises tilt trailer. It works so easily. I also like to show my car off and it makes it a lot easier to get in and out of my car when we have an open trailer. Let's get this car unstrapped and I'll show you how it works. One of the nice features of this trailer is it has removable fenders. Now not all cars require the fenders to be removed. This car, the door opens okay and it clears the fender. Some cars with the low doors are going to get caught on this fender. So they designed it where the fender comes off very easily with two wing nuts. Just unscrew this one, unscrew this one right here, and lift up, just like that. Getting the car ready to tilt is a very simple process. First we undo the safety pin, pull that out, we'll put it right here. Then you have to unhook your tilt lever, which has another safety on it and you lift up on it like that, the car's ready to tip. Very unique feature of the JB Enterprise trailer is the cylinder that allows for a soft up and a soft down. It's a two-way action cylinder. Also, if you'll notice, underneath the trailer is a spare tire. A nice rack to store your spare tire out of sight and out of the weather. On either side, there are two tool compartments. Up on the front end, we have a swing away tongue jack. The trailer comes equipped with brakes. The standard tilt trailer features two torsion axles, no springs. Gives you a lot better tire wear and a lot better strength for longer lasting soft rides. Trailer comes with the automatic grease cups. The trailer features LED lights, which gives you a nice, safe, bright light for tail lights and turn signals. All of the side clearance lights turn with the turn signals. The deck is solid diamond plate and has eight tie down recessed rings in it. Standard color for the trailer is black. However, there are many other color options available. The color is powder coat finish paint, top and bottom to help eliminate rust and to help eliminate scratching and marring. Occasionally you'll have use for a winch stand. The neat feature of it is, is if you aren't using it, you can take it out. It's very easy to get the trailer back into the transport position empty just by pressing down on the deck with the weight of your body. Push it all the way down, pull your lever like this, and you're locked down and ready to go. Okay, we're ready to load our car back up on the trailer. We undo the latch, the trailer goes up, we just press our foot down to get it all the way to the ground. There, I said it.